Hey everyone, how are you doing? This is Lorraine from the Sacred Alchemist 1111. Guys, I'm going to jump straight into this reading. Um, this is like a downloaded message that I've received from last night. Um, I just wasn't able to do it last night. And so this morning, I am going to be delivering you this message. So as you know, do take what resonates. It is a timeless reading. To be honest and to be real and to be fair, this reading is only going to be aimed at divine feminines and divine masculines who have been putting in the work and you have uh, detached yourselves away from the the hamster wheel um, honey trap of the twin flame, like typical twin flame readings where it's like the divine feminine is stuck and obsessed with what's going on between the divine masculine and the karmic. If that is your situation right now, this reading isn't really going to be for you because you haven't moved on from and detached away from your situation. By all means, yeah, you can listen. Um, this may give you some form of inspiration to do so at some stage. The timing for that is down to you. But I'm I'm not being funny. I don't really want to um, like focus and cater for anyone who's not ready to step away from that situation that they're in okay we're all at different stages so i'm only going to be moving with those um and dealing with those feminines and masculines who have been in union within themselves so the union comes from within yourself because you are your own twin flame and then you then connect with that beautiful high level soulful person you know all the you know in the physical sense all right so just bear that in mind. So, as I said, you're presently in... Um, so, right now, the message is the Divine Feminines and Divine Masculines who are presently in separation, but connected energetically and with communication in the 3D. So, you know that you guys, you know that you've done your work, you're, you've done your inner work, you you. Uh, done your permanent union within yourselves and now you are connecting um energetically now on a very high vibrational frequency with your person okay um you but you're you're not you're, you're together but you're not together okay so what it is is that it's saying is that it's time to leave your toxic surroundings as soon as possible OK, because you guys need to now start to come into physical union now as soon as as soon as you can. you got to stay strong, calm and move on. Strong, calm and move on. Your soul mission needs you to see the bigger picture, to know what's at stake. So um, if you are sort of like, um, you know, you know that you've got that desire to move, but you're not really taking much action on it. It's like you really have to start shifting things down, okay? And I know that for some of you guys, the Divine Feminines, you've been energetically fighting your way through, fighting against the odds in order to get towards physical union. And this will be either changing tactics, changing lanes, positions, people, places and things. This is the time now that you are just like in this energy of like, I am not joking, I'm not fucking around, Okay, I am done. I want to be in, I want to be in union. You don't, you know, it's no, there's no, this kind of like, you know, codependent desire or, you know, stressing out yourself and all low vibrational shit like that. You know who the fuck you are and you are moving towards it. Let somebody come and stand in your way. You'd love to see that fucking shit and you will shut them down. It's as simple as that. There's no ego here. But this is your divine right. This is your divine birthright. And it's time for those opposers to get the fuck out of your way and to understand, overstand and understand where you are coming from and the mission that you have within yourself and that only you know what personal mission that you're on in order to bring about this change amidst this chaos. I'm going to jump straight in with the... Um, activations uh sacred geometry activations cards okay so um that's kind of like the ending of the downloaded message it was pretty much like 
in your face and straightforward. Like, no fucking around, no messing about. Okay, so with the Sacred Geometry Activations card, the first card that I'm pulling up is Beautiful Divine Feminine. <sighs> Fuck. Okay, we have got the frequency of Divine Feminine supports our receptive, nurturing and soft side, allowing it to express itself openly and helping us to connect to our intrinsic understanding of our connection of all creation. You have been at that stage now, Divine Feminine, where you, I mean, heart space is opened up. You're really feeling out all of these chakras that are being activated right now. Your throat chakra, your heart chakra, your, you know, especially your crown chakra. Um, you may have been experiencing um, sort of like headaches or pressure around the crown part of your head. Um, you know, if it's not a medical thing, this is part of the, um, you know, the alchemical process, the um, ascension process towards, you know, you heading towards enlightenment, OK, and if those that have been putting in the work, you will, re you know, you will receive enlightenment. You're turning into divine feminine warriors. You're standing up and rising up as a collective, as individuals across the cosmos to defend and protect your divine masculines. And as I say that, it's so emotional when I say that. But I've got my hand on my heart to feel the vibrations from the heart space. And I sense the rain coming as well. Okay, the next card that I've got for you guys for the sacred geometry is a miracle and solar plexus chakra and alchemy. Yeah, this is exactly what I've been picking up alchemical changes that's happening the frequency of miracle card number 33 christ consciousness is coming through to you darlings okay miracle supports our belief in ourselves as a part of source and therefore our belief that anything is possible solar, uh, solar plexus chakra so we've got three we've got three 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 in the middle in fact we've got 21 for the divine feminine which is three and then we've got 33 and then we've got three so lots of threes happening. You may be seeing three, 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 or three, 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 three. The frequency of the solar plexus chakra, the yellow flower of life, supports our sense of self, our personal power and our willpower, as well as our knowing of who we are and what our contribution is to the whole. Alchemy, the frequency of alchemy activates our magical ability and remembrance of the magic that we hold that we all hold inside each of us has the potential to access the ancient knowledge that allowed the true alchemist to perform the miracles of transmutation this is why we're saying like you're not fucking around divine feminine at the bottom of the deck we've got passion 34 the frequency of passion reminds us that beneath every intense um, emotion lies the hidden gem of insight balance and calm it assists us in finding the balance within this intensity, moving us um, from chaos to the calm of its core, where we can let its long-lasting wisdom fill us up. Sorry, guys, if you can hear the rain coming through. I could hear it off in the, in the distance slightly, and I thought, oh, it's going to come in. Um, I take that as a sign. I take that as a blessing, because this is all about cleansing of the soul cleansing of the body cleansing of the mind and basically you know no longer allowing yourself to be stuck guys i'm just going to pause the reading a sec i just want this rain to go through pass over because it's um i don't want you i need you to hear exactly what's been said hold on all right let's continue with the reading okay so i am going to be using i've got some new decks um the one that I've got right now is called Unshakable Inner Peace Oracle Cards. Um, so let me just pull a deck, um, pull a deck, pull a card for you guys. I'm going to actually, um, what's put in, what's left in the guidebooks um, is really, really interesting. But what I'll do, I'll pull something first intuitively and then I'll go for the book. All right. So first up, we have got. Eliminate distractions, Divine Feminines. This is you. 
stop shining light on things that you um you are not how can you reclaim your power you're not fucking around that's for one thing the decision has been made that bit's not in the book by the way i don't think they'd have swear words in the book like that apart from the rebel deck um so no no more fuck this fuck off you're not joking okay this is a healing time for you you're choosing you the goddess within you, the warrior goddess within you is rising up. I'm sensing like, you know, people have been doing so much affirmations. You've been bashing on the mantras. You've been going in. You are not fucking around anymore because you know within yourself who you are. And if you've connected with your twin flame in such a way, and even using that label twin flame, it's like, it, it kind of loses the connection, the vibration, the frequency that you have with your person is more powerful than the word twin flame. It's more powerful. Because you've just gone beyond. You, you both are the breakthrough towards this ascension. Let me get the, uh, the meaning behind this as well. So your soul has a unique language. And desires nothing more than for you to honour your true path. But we often fall into society's traps by focusing on material things, illusions of success or approval, and other ideas that block us from receiving the messages we need. Have you been trying to solve a problem with old patterns? If so, you are being asked to release your need to know the outcome and direct your attention to what matters most your balance with self and the love within. You may be splitting your energy, trying to please others at the expense of yourself. Take a moment to release the pressure you've placed upon yourself. Free yourself from the need to have it all figured out and dive more deeply into the process. It's possible you've been shining light on things that you are not meaning you've been given away your attention and power. Return to your true power by getting clear about what you value and what you stand for. The divine assignment says that when you let go of what is taking your energy, fears, worries, self-sabotaging patterns and habits, you will regain confidence in yourself by bringing your full power back. No longer are you leaking energy or expending aspects of yourself. Pulling back energetically helps you create clear boundaries. Carve out a line for what you will and will not allow in your life. You've drawn this card as a reminder that you have been giving your power away by not creating clear boundaries. Have you been saying yes when you really want to say no? Have you been feeling taken advantage of or overthinking situations in hopes? Um, sorry, I just lost where I was saying. In the hopes that others will show up for you in the way you have shown up for them. When you are not clear about your position, others can take advantage of you, even unknowingly, which causes rifts in your relationships. Be clear with yourself about what you need. The most kind, caring people first tend to their own needs and have clear boundaries. Because when they do, they know that they um, can show up even more fully in the service of others. And the question to ask yourself, if you haven't done so already, is how can I reclaim my power? Again, with that, that is a personal, um, that is something personal to you that only you can figure out for your own personal situation. OK, because everybody is unique in their own divine right. OK, so this is what I'm saying with regards to the way how you may have been really going bending over backwards for certain people that unknowingly have been trapping you and distracting you with their own wants and needs. They haven't done the work for themselves. They may be vulnerable, but sometimes you need to put people together that may have been very toxic and vulnerable and they're putting, pushing themselves and pulling, you know, you away from you and pulling you um, towards them and then they're still not they're still fucked up they're still in the same kind of mess and they want you to come and help fix them that's not fucking happening anymore right now they have to learn 
by their own mistakes and their own errors, the way how you have had to learn. The error that you made was staying in a situation too long and allowing people to take the fucking piss out of you. All right? That's unfair. And that's not justified and you are going against your divine mission. The divine gifts that have been bestowed to you by source, God's source, the most high, the creator. You're wasting it. You're wasting it. You're wasting it. All right. So now you've realized that shit and it's like, no, 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 no. The time now is for me to rise up and move the fuck on. Bear with me one second, darlings. So about that, guys. So I've just literally been seeing and sensing like you guys are just kicking down the, the blocks in the road. Like you're opening up the road back again, you know, and eliminating and distracting and pushing away toxic energies from people because they don't know how to transmute what's going on with them, they haven't done the inner work and they just see you as the perfect solution to cover all things, okay? As I said, that is not fair. I'm tapping in now into the uh, Priestess of the Light Oracle. Let's get stuck in with this. So what messages we've got for you guys. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. First cut up we have got is Grateful Optimism joyous view of the future so you've held this your heart space has held so much hope and optimism and joy and happiness nothing has ever sort of like tried to they yes they have tried to destroy they have tried to drag you down but you have an infinite supply of unconditional love that you get from the universe from source um, if you have directly aligned yourself with source, you've completely let go, you've completely surrendered, you are working with the universe, the universe is working with you, okay? You've always had this, this idea, this vision in your, mind's, your, in your mind's eye of how you want to be perceived, where you want to be and what you want to do. You need to be... Okay, I'm going to, you need to be, uh, if you don't have your person with you right now, and you know that you are, you know, wanting to move away, you need to do this as soon as possible. Sometimes um, when you're receiving downloads, and you need to find your pen and paper, I'm just seeing someone that needs to find a pen and paper somewhere. And you've got someone that just comes into your room or the phone goes off or somebody's at the door or somebody's playing TV really loud. If you're not into TV and it just pisses you off, even hearing the word TV, um, you know, you need to be in your own sacred space. And it's as if you've got other energies that are invading your sacred space. Even though you've got this joyous view um, of the future, you've got this grateful optimism, what I'm picking up is that you just really need to be in your own personal, private space. Next card that we've got is sacred action. Yeah, you're taking action, decisive focus. I'm picking up on a lot of heavy queen of swords energy um, with this, you know, divine feminine that's just really popping through and really popping up. Okay, touching earth. Planting something new. You, We do have the new moon coming up tomorrow. Um, this is August 26th that I'm doing this reading on. So this reading, if you want, can be a part of that new moon kind of message that's coming through. Um, you may have actually planted something in the previous new moons as well um, with regards to manifestation and it's coming through. Some of you need to just go outside in nature and touch the earth. And put it in your heart space if you need to. Because that's going to connect you back with, um, you know, like planting yourself from the morphogenetic field. The template, the grid, um, template of the planet. So my throat's going off again. Um, in order to receive that energy. In order to really sort of like, the, um, I'm sort of like getting this sort of, uh, oh my God. Like back and forth, this reciprocity with the energy, like equal give and take between you and the planet. 
all right? That's helping you so much. And we've got miracles again, ancient wisdom. There's certain, uh, um, the ancient codes within you are sort of starting to pop back online. It's starting to be coming activated. So there's certain things, certain qualities, certain memories that may not have been yours in this lifetime, but, you know, they're popping up. If you are going to do your past life regression, um, certainly um, there, there could be even hidden messages that are relayed back um, to you. Remember that time does not exist. It's an illusion. So the ancient past is still present. The future future is still in the present. And the present is still in the present. All right. So you're, you're timeless. You're multidimensional. You're interdimensional. Underneath the bottom of the deck, we do have clairvoyance, inspiration, interpretation and trust. You trust yourself. You trust your guides. Always trust your inner self and your guides before you trust anybody else. Anybody else. And I sense that within you guys as well, because why? Lessons have been learned. Very painful ones at that, but they have been learned. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to touch on, I'm just going to pull a card from the Astral Realms Oracle. see what card that we have got we have got perseverance so that's the earth element and turquoise some of you could um use turquoise as a protective stone um got number 12 going on so again with this earth energy um i'm not really sort of focusing on the fact that it could be you as an earth sign but again touching the earth touching getting grounded okay and persevering um really and truly feeling very um you know, very, very determined not to give up. I'm really picking up a real sense of a feminine out there who's really, you've been battling so many inner battles and outer battles, um, which, yes, it has left you feeling really totally drained and exhausted. But because of your infinite supply of joy, this joy and this love that you've had for yourself and you have for others as well, it's what's kept you going and this passion that it's going to be, um, you know, it's it, like, you know that everything is everything. Everything is going to be all right. You are where you need to be. The reason why you were stuck in that position is because you either spent too much time in there or the fact that you was, um, even though you was waiting for, say, like an opportunity to come, to come through, you were still working on yourself. So you were still moving things around, even though it may have looked to other people that you were standing still. But then again, it just goes to show that they don't really know you and they th th that's not for their business to know what you what it is that you're doing. All right. You know what you're doing. They need to know what the fuck they're doing. And then and what they need to do is step off away from you. Step out of your energy. OK, on to the work your light. Oracle cards, divine feminines, divine masculines. Divine feminines and divine masculines, because I need to make sure that I include the masculines as well. Okay. And a grandmother of Jesus, seed in the light, laying foundations, divine plan. So this beautiful energy of um again with this Christ-like consciousness coming through, laying down those foundations. Um, I'm really getting an an, an you know an energy, a message of the, the ancient past um and you know, past, past, coming through again, but it was as if, like, what was left in the past is being discovered today, okay, seeding the light, laying down those foundations, divine plan, it was all in the making, we have got mirror, who or what is triggering you, right now, as I said, you need to make sure that you're steering clear of people that are going to be fucking with your inner peace, whether they are doing it on purpose or they're unconscious of it, because, as I said, you need to be, look, we need to see who you are, divine feminine, divine masculine, twin flames. We need to see your missions. We need to see your products. We need to see your creations. We need to see who you are because this planet needs it. Also, don't forget as well that we are in the process of building new earth. So you are the architects of the legacy that you are going to be leaving behind. The next card that we have is that you are already doing it. Stop overthinking. Keep facing your true north. So I do feel that this, to be honest, I do feel that this was you in the past, in recent past. 
But because you sort of gathered up your strength and you made that sacred action, that decisive focus to start to really kick yourself into gear, I feel that that has lessened and lessened over time. Because right now what I'm dealing with, even the way how I'm speaking, I'm speaking with somebody who's very strong within their senses and they know exactly what they're doing because you've eliminated the distractions. Okay, trust the niggle. What is the niggling feeling trying to tell you? So a lot of intuition, um, you know, using intuition, using your discernment. And this card came up next to it saying, no, wait, postpone, pause, say no. Some of you could have had some kind of offer that didn't ride very well with your soul. And your vibes are tapping you on your shoulder and saying, listen, bitch, don't do this because you are going to get fucked in the end. Do not go there with this. This path is not for you. Okay, some of you need to go back to ancient sites to, okay, I'm getting two words, see or know, see and know who you are again. I feel that you need to be there to see it in order to acknowledge it, remember it and to know it. Okay, I get it. All right. And then underneath the bottom of the deck is boundaries. Where do you need to see, sorry, where do you need to establish better boundaries? Again, my loves, that is for you to det uh, be determined to find out exactly where you need to place those boundaries. Even if you have to print a t-shirt that says, get the fuck away from my vibes, do that. Do what you have to do in order to prepare yourself. In fact, well, I was in town the other day, I was in a um, local supermarket and this girl came in and she had a t-shirt that simply said, fuck off. Now, two two things is that obviously she was doing it in public. So I was thinking first up was that, oh my gosh, like children could read that like, for those kids that can read and see that on her like self. But it wasn't like, do you remember those T-shirts from French Connection? And it has it used to say like FC UK. Nah, this one was straight up in your face and you tough fuck off. All right. So she was just so gangster. I thought, wow, OK, I admire her for that. And I've, and I've related to what she was saying. I really did. I related. So, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes it has to be done because when people can't understand, they need to see where you're coming from. All right. Next up, we have got the work your light. Sorry, um, the Starseed Oracle. Deep cellular healing. Arcturus energy. Physical and emotional healing. As I said before, I feel that you need to be going outside and touching Mother Earth. Tap into the Mother Earth and you will be able to receive those beautiful healing energies, those messages, you know, uh, what I'm sensing is that I'm seeing it as like cells that have been fragmented, like disconnected, broken off, you know, like when you get like, um, a, like a motherboard, and you're trying to reconnect the components again, like those components represent the cells within your body. That's how I'm seeing it right now. And um, it's like, if you connect back with me, like this is, you know, what Mother Nature is saying, then if you connect back with me, then obviously you're going to be able to get your healing. You're going to be able to feel more renewed, re-energised again, okay? Regenesis. The seas of Mentaka, seeing potential, bringing unconsciousness to light. So again, the moment that you start to heal yourself and get back in touch with nature, you're going to start to, you know, like the con unconscious part of you with all these soul memories are coming through. Next card up we've got is called Soul Gifts and Training. It's time to step up. What was I just saying, guys? You need to step up. Hold on a sec. So, guys, I just had to pause and take a, a sip of water. My throat is just so fucked at the minute. Um, I did mention that the other day. So, it's still, I'm still in the process. But I still have to talk. I've got these messages coming in fast. And, guys, as much as this is so fucking exciting, it's so amazing, it's so brilliant. I can I can see it, I can touch it, I can taste it, I can feel it. It's so, like, 5D vibes. But you've, it, there's a frustrating part of it because, like, of obviously where you're on the threshold part, you're transitioning from the toxic bollocks straight towards your divine space, you know? And the tranquility that you're feeling, that zen moment, you know, it's like trying to meditate amidst chaos and a busy, busy household, like kids running around or dogs barking or cats running around chasing each other and you've got people that might be arguing about bullshit about what they see on the fucking news like who cares about the news do you know what i'm saying and it's all of these things and all you want to do is like to say to say for fuck's sake just step the fuck out of my sacred space and leave me in peace 
you know? And it's like, well, if you won't move, then I need to move. If you're not, you're not coming out, I'm leaving. Next card up that we have got is you've got the love. Hadrian energy, codependency, boundaries. This is exactly what I was talking about. They need your light in order to survive. And then they have the fucking cheat to throw it back at you. So th there's two different parts of transmutation going on here. They're sucking the life out of you, your, so your God source out of you, to transmute it into bollocks bullshit, codependence, toxic energy, so that they can throw it at you like black mud. And then at the end of the day, you're taking that energy from them, their negative energy, and then transmuting that shit back into your divine energy in order to keep you going and without you raising your fists and knocking somebody down. You need to leave this place. You need to go. And I'm not, you know, I love you dearly. I'm not saying it to be nasty. I'm being real. If you are feeling this way right now, Divine Feminine, if you are somewhere where this is so toxic and it's hurting your heart space, you need to get out. Find a way now to do this ASAP, all right? Underneath the bottom of the deck, we have got weight of the world, boundaries, a lot of boundaries. What the fuck? Another card saying boundaries, let go. Let it go. It's not yours to carry. You need to stop picking up people's bullshit. You're like a bloody... You know that song Bag Lady by Erica Badu? Put that shit down. It's not yours. If you, do you remember going in a shop as a child with your mum or your grandmother and you used to go and pick up either sweeties or like Barbie dolls or action men and the first thing your mum or your grandmother would say is, go and put that down. You know, go and put that down. That's not yours. I'm not buying that. If you break it and I have to pay for it, I'm going to beat you. You know, the, you know one of those ones, depending on how old you are. And back in the day, if you were a 70s child, you definitely know where I'm coming from or an 80s kid. Right? Um, put it down. That's not yours. That's not your responsibility. That's their responsibility. That's old 3D shit. We're in 4D, 5D vibes right now. Okay, we're not in, <clears throat> we're not entertaining that rubbish anymore. Leave people below. If they want to say the 3D, that's on them. You, you don't have time for that no more. Okay, the last, um, sorry, not the last. I've got three more decks that I'm going to do for you guys. The next deck up is um, a deck that I've recently got another new deck. And it's called, what's it called? Transformation Oracle. Okay, Transformation Oracle. Um, I'm going to pull a, a card from here. For you guys. Let's see what's happening. Okay, and we have got rebirth. Yep. Rebirth. Reinstating your position as a divine being, as a feminine, as a masculine, as a twin flame, as a whatever you want to label yourself as being a high priestess, high priest, god, goddess. You are rebirthing yourself. And I feel that you have over you know a period of lifetimes. You know, some of you may have just been trying to sort of like pursue certain things that you wanted to do. <clears throat> please allow me to speak, please. <clears throat> Sorry. And um, your life may have been cut short or you made the wrong decision or somebody sort of like had to pull you away um, for your own good at that time. Because at that time, you probably wasn't spiritually strong enough to handle a toxic situation. But coming back in this time around now, you're you're a solid as Stonehenge. So you know exactly that you know that you're unbreakable, you're unshakable, and you're ready to just handle shit like a boss, like the way how you need to. Okay. Let's go in with the Queen of the Moon. Oracle. Bound to it. How many fucking cards have I got that says boundaries? There's like so many cards that are saying boundaries, boundaries, boundaries. Listen, I'm, I'm going to repeat myself. I don't give a fuck. Divine feminine. Divine masculine. Twin flames. Come on. Step it up. Don't let these fucking karmics back in because they're trying to wriggle and slime and squirm their way and slither their way back in. The fucking snakes. We do have um, Mercury Retrograde coming up next month, right? So there seems to be a regurgitation of bullshit that really wants to come at you again. But you are divinely protected. Boundaries, Waxing Gibbous number three. 
And number 12 again, we've seen a lot, whole shitload of threes going on here. Sevens, mainly threes and twos I'm seeing. Four, four, fours. Boundaries. And I feel the majority of you are like, yeah, but Lorraine, I have. I've been setting up my boundaries, yeah. Make sure you go over them. Maintain your boundaries. Do a maintenance check on your boundaries. Tighten up where you may be feeling a little bit... Um, you know, a little bit vulnerable here, here and there because certain people have a way of getting into your psyche and mind-fucking you, okay? They know because they know you or they're trying to get to know you. It's not fucking happening. Um, we have got purity, snow moon. I love this because this is a game cleansing, detoxifying. Remember when I was saying, mentioned about the rain earlier in the reading? Um... I'm taking that as a message of cleansing, you know, purifying yourself, get, going back to, oh dear, some of you really feel that you could take back a lot of things that happened to you in the past, that you allowed certain things to happen to you in the past. Hun, you need to let that go, all right? Because what happened to you then, it was part of the experience, what I'm picking up with this purity, I'm really picking up someone or some people that went through some real fucking shit, boy. Real dope. No, not dope. It wasn't fucking dope at all. It was terrible. Very tumultuous. And, um, you know, it, at that time, as I said, like, especially with the rebirth card as well, it was, I felt at the time, it was because you wasn't spiritually strong enough. Like, you you know more now than what you did before 10 years ago, all right? You was a totally different person, closed off, very 3D encased, okay? But things have changed. Right, let me set off now um, the tarot. I'm going to, I want to get some cards, some messages around the feminine and the masculine. Uh, the last deck that I'm using is Nefertiri's Tarot, or Nefertiri's Tarot. Can I have three cards, four, sorry, for, can I have four cards, I'm being, all right, can I have four cards, please, for the Divine Feminine, and then um, can I have four cards then for the Divine Masculine? I just want to see what's going on with you in your headspace. I've got two cards that's come up already and they're quite eager to speak. I just need to pull two more cards for the Divine Feminine. Now, where are you guys at now, right now, before meeting up in physical permanent union? Okay, Divine Feminine. Thank you. Make sure you keep on your with your breathing. Breathe. Make sure you're keeping up with your breathing. Okay, last card. Thank you. All right. So first up that we have got is the Four of Swords in the upright position. Some of you are really getting um dealing with a lot of headaches at the moment because of the stress. Um, as I said, it could be to do with ascension symptoms as well. So maybe some of you guys are finding that, that you are laying down a lot more. Um, needing to lie down some of you have like quite bad headaches so if you've already been to the doctor and you know they've sort of like you know checked you out and everything like that and everything seems to be okay it's you know it's just that there's so much things that's going on I can sense the the excitement that's going on but I can also sense the frustration as well some of you are holding your heads in disbelief as to the fact that some people have the audacity that from your past to still try to step up to you and try and test you it's amazing I know but you know, like, it's also bewildering at the same time. Next card that we have got is the five, sorry, not the five. Sorry, guys, this card, these decks are got the gold foil in it. So where I've got the light shining down, I can only see the word. So we've got the knave of cups, the, um, the page of cups. So as I said, you know that you're pulling in this offer. Um, you are in touch and in contact with your person. I feel that this person as well, um, because the five, sorry, the four of swords has a figure that is um, in the upright position, but their back is turned to this uh, knave of chalices or the page of cups. This person has got your back. They are supporting you um, energetically and emotionally as well. 
the next card for the divine feminine is the knight of pentacles in the reverse so i feel that you're no longer sort of like accepting things that are coming in so slow all right you're no longer in that energy space of like okay right well um i waited so long for things to sort of like um come in i decided that i'm no longer waiting anymore also this is an indication that is this is like the long-term solid offer that is coming in from your person okay but it's not actually reached you yet the last card that we have got is the hermit card in the reverse so yeah i feel that you've come out from your your um your cave your you know you've already done your dark night of the soul um that you may have had to go through another session of but this time around it's like yes um i'm ready for some of you guys, the other message is that there's certain things that you need to step into. I feel that if there's any kind of offers from certain people um, or people are coming at you with certain things, you do you would need to tap in to find out a little bit more, to gain more insight, to gain more guidance from your higher self as well. Okay, let's tap in with the beautiful Divine Masculine. What's going on with you guys? There has been a major shift in the consciousness, the collective consciousness of the divine masculines. Um, and they are going through heavy pain as well. Heavy, heavy, heavy pain. Psychologically and emotionally dealing with heavy addictions, trying to stay clear of drugs, sex, ex-partners and their own fears within themselves as well. Okay? Let's see what we've got going on with the Divine Masculine. So we have got the King of Wands in the upright position. Really and truly taking action. No more fucking sitting down waiting for bullshit. You're no longer, um, you know, some of you know who you want to be with. You're taking action towards your person. The next card that we've got is the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. So definitely coming out from being single. And knowing that you are definitely heading towards union with somebody. Okay, hold on a sec, guys. This is also working even more harder and being determined, persevering um, to make sure that you are much um, stable financially. Um, you're setting yourself up, securing up your assets, taking action on those areas, especially when you would have been coming out from so much conflict and chaos from your oppressors from people who really wanted to see the divine masculine's downfall but rising up and saying hell to the no i am moving forward with my divine feminine my divine counterpart you all can kiss our spiritual asses let's move forward okay the next card that we have got is the eight of wands in the upright position. So with this, this is about movement. This is about travel. Some of you could be traveling um, physically or uh, with communication. Your communication is strong. The communication game is strong, very frequent and very strong, unbreakable, passionate, okay? Knowing exactly what to do. Um, I do see um, this as also... Um, taking one of those wands as an ace of wands to really create something new the rest of the seven of wands have been left behind to block the past behind behind you guys okay and the last card that we have got is the beautiful oh my goodness the ace of cups for the divine masculine <sighs> fuck it is amazing it's beautiful you know who you are you know who you want I'm also getting this energy as well of reclaiming back what is divinely yours. That love that you have got within yourself or, you know, for you, divine masculine. It's yours. It's divinely yours, yes. And it's also you are free to give to whomever you choose. And I feel that this is what you've been doing by blocking out um, toxic counterparts that, you know, you are no longer in connection with. You no longer want to be in connection with or communication with. OK, ex-partners, ex-friends, whatever the case may be. And you are refilling that cup too and cleansing it, cleansing it, purifying it. OK, in order to give that to your divine counterpart underneath the bottom of the deck for the both of you, for the both of you 
is the six of pentacles but the six of pentacles is in the reverse reason being guys is because of the fact that you are you know you are dealing with things that are not really balanced right now you are trying very very hard to balance out your lives as i speak this okay oh my god i'm gonna leave it here guys this is amazing i love this um as i said there's a lot of things that's going on but this download again it's it needed to come through it needed to come in now um this is why i'm speaking in this kind of way in this kind of tone there's no time for bullshit anymore you are literally the breakthroughs that you need to smash mash up break down demolish all of this toxic these toxic buildings toxic city is no more it is literally now turning into flat land. I'm seeing like a collective, an army of twin flames that's just standing up, rising up and just saying, you know what? All you toxic fucking bastards, you're all done. We're all done with you. We're finished. Okay, we're moving forward. I'm really picking up some warrior energy here because you guys need to fight your way through. You need to fight your way through. That's what I'm picking up. All these boundaries, boundaries, boundaries. About four cards had boundaries on it as well as other cards that had similar meanings towards boundaries. No more burdens. Give those burdens back to those who have been trying to give them to give it to you. Right? Give it back. It's not yours. You've got your own responsibilities to deal with. You've got your own lives to build. New earth is now. Okay? New earth is, is within you. And this is why whenever you touch the earth, whenever you ground yourself and you do earthing, you put your bare feet on that on that soil. You're getting that connection. You're taking home that new earth within you. And now it's your responsibility now as a divine couple, as a divine tribe, as a divine community and a divine collective. Now is the time, guys, for you all now to start stepping up. And I'm speaking to you all as a collective, not as an individual here. This is not a personal reading. This is a reading for the collective. Only for those who have been stepping the fuck up and doing their work. Even if you were called to do it, remember, many are called, but few are chosen. So again, with this chosen one energy, again, you chose to, to still keep going. You chose to create those um, boundaries. You chose to eliminate those distractions. You chose to purify yourself. You chose to call your power back. You chose to transmute all of that hurt and pain in order to turn it back into love and joy and blessings again. The time is now, all right? Guys, I'm going to leave it here. Thank you guys so much for listening to this reading. I'll be back with another message for you all. Please do take care of yourselves. And yes, again, I am working on those previous messages for you guys. A lot of things is happening. It's chaotic, but I'm going with the flow. And I suggest you guys do that as well. Keep moving forward. Persevere, persevere, persevere. Keep those boundaries going. Keep those boundaries nice and healthy because your boundaries are like your children right now. All right? And they need you to really keep them strong and to, so that they can protect you. Take care, guys. All the best.